here, judges Kelly Saint, Warren McGee, and Bruce Haynes. Sitting at the centre ring for the South Pacific, Australasian and Australian champion, originally from New Zealand, now based in Adelaide, South Australia. Chris Dingaloo, come on here, Chris. A warm welcome back to Melbourne Town. He's done big shows from Brisbane, Adelaide, and Melbourne Town. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our feature attractions, super lightweights, four rounds, thank you, Anika. Ladies and gentlemen, when you are going across the ring here in the blue corner, proudly wearing the championship belt, he's been dubbed the Tiger. Come to Jamal Hazard Academy, unbeaten, would you welcome Hussi Moran. He's a fighting machine, proudly wearing the trunks of a touch of green, white and red. Across the ring from West Sunshine, part of the west side, Pat Christophe, four bouts, three wins. Voted by the Professional Boxing Control Board, voted by the Malcolm McInnes, as the Wonder Boy on the last big Pat Christophe show. Four, three, and one, wearing total black trunks, would you welcome Tony Antonio? Tony Antonio, Chris Dingaloo. Okay, this bout proudly presented by G. L. Lee. L. W. Lee, not Howard Lee, that's me. G. L. Lee, real estate, great supporters of the Petroscopy and Ultimate Paul Denver College, Georgia. Wonderful real estate, new properties, new housing, land, you name it. Real estate booming in Melbourne's western region. See G. L. Lee real estate. Mythos Cafe Bar, Amino Active, San Buca Bar, Group Net Car Center, Group Safety, Right Chris. Seconds out, round one. Underway in the first round of action. This should be a corker of a fight between the Western Wonder, Tony Antonio, and the Tiger, Hussein Murad. Essentially a brilliant kicker in the Wonder against the fantastic boxer in Hussein Murad. The Western Wonder, I like to call him Mr. Fabulous with those great kicks of his. And there's the wicked hand combinations of Murad. Already this has proven to be something special. Well, Tony's going to have to keep Hussein away because if he gets in close, he's a very powerfully built uh, fighter. As we've seen in the last bout, the uh, the stockier of the two is Hussein, and if he gets in there, it could be a little bit of trouble for uh, Tony Antonio. Hussein moving with those clobbering hands early on. Backing Antonio into the neutral corner. The Western Wonder just barreling his way out of there, firing back with some hand combinations of his own. Hussein catches him with a northwest hand. He goes down. An early blow there for the Western Wonder. The left hand caught him sweet. Hussein Murad charges across the ring. Antonio in trouble early on. Fires out the high left round kick. Another high left round kick there by the Western Wonder. Murad backing him against the ropes, trying to fire in that lethal right hand. Third man in centre ring, referee Chris Nicolau. Antonio has to keep his hands up, Michael, because uh, Murad is going gonna, is gonna to get in with those big hooks, and that's uh, going to do the damage. And he's got to start using his kicks a lot more front, front on, instead of those uh, step-up side kicks, possibly front kicks or roundhouse kicks to the head, but uh, definitely he's got to keep Murad away from him. What a torrid first round there for the Western Wonder, Tony Antonio. Copying quite a few knocks on the jaw there, Mark. Well, he moves uh, into the second round, but uh, this break could do him the world of good, but he's got to have his attacks launched a lot more straight on to Murad, because Murad's coming in and uh, closing that gap quite effectively, just slipping inside or, or around that uh, step-up side kick. Let's rumble in the second round of action between the Western Wonder, Tony Antonio, and the Tiger, Hussein Murad. It was Murad who came out smoking in the first round. And let's see what Mr. Fabulous can produce in the second round. The Western Wonder just lining up there with a the spinning back kick to begin the round. Murad moving in immediately with that big left hand. Will Antonio's fabulous kicks be able to overcome the sheer power, the destructive power of Hussein Murad? Yeah. 
side kick by Antonio. Murad just charging after him. Antonio being made to work. Careers those left and right round kicks into the ribs. Murad just tying him up. Inside leg kick, nice and close. Well, I tell you what, Murad, I mean Murad, is certainly powering up. Have a look at him. He's always a walk-up fighter. Antonio Antonio has to uh, power up a little with his own kicks and put him in into the legs. He's got to power right up with those uh, with those kicks rather than just throwing him out as a token gesture. Oh, the huge left round kick there by the Western Wonder, Tony Antonio. Caught him sweet. The count being applied here by referee Chris Nicolau. The Western Wonder, Tony Antonio, has fired back in the second round of action. This might infuriate Murad. Murad comes out smoking with the left hand. Can the Wonder get him again? The crowd rallying behind Mr. Fabulous Tony Antonio. A high left round kick by the Western Wonder. He had a troubled first round. He's coming on strong in the second. Drills a body shot downstairs, does Antonio. A spinning back kick to end the second round of action. And that round goes the way of Antonio, Mark. Well, what a great round from uh, Tony Antonio. Showing a, a lot of heart and coming back in at the second round. Murad, being the walk-up fighter, is, uh, is good that he has to close the gap and work Tony uh, hard, but uh, he's also getting caught on the way in. And that is the danger point there. But uh, this is a crackerjack fight, very much a contrast of styles. And uh, it's going to go down to the wire, or into the third round anyway. And uh, I look forward to, uh, to see the remainder of this fight. Down of this absolute ripper of a clash, a high left round kick to start it from the Western Wonder. In my scorecard, he lost the first round, definitively won the second round. And it's Murad charging him across the ring in the third round of action. Antonio fires in the front kick off the left leg. Listen to the crowd go wild. They're going bananas here in Eden's Garden. The Western Wonder putting on a real show. Hussein Murad looking a little worse for wear. Antonio, the intestinal fortitude. It's been the fight of the night so far. Murad inside leg kick. Antonio tries to go for the uppercut, gets underneath the hand very nicely. A good bit of evasion there from the Western Wonder. Oh, leg kick it was there by Murad, found the mark, might have connected to the knee of Tony Antonio. These are two battle weary warriors in the ring. Murad trying to work in the body shots. Antonio just dancing out of trouble, sticking out that left legged side kick to the solar plexus. High left round kick there by the Western Wonder. Well, certainly Antonio's uh, Taekwondo background is kicking right in here for him. He's got to, uh, he's got to keep pushing, though, because Murain, Murat, you can be sure that he'll keep powering up. None of Jamal's boys ever give up easy, and uh, certainly Hussein Murad is no exception. sensational bout we're seeing between the boy wonder Tony Antonio and Hussein Murad fourth and final round of action super lightweight action between the western wonder Tony Antonio and Hussein Murad it has been an absolute thrill ride so far Well-checked leg kick there. Hussein just poking him with the right hand. 
warning not to catch the leg. Hussein needs to produce a good final round. I believe he lost the second and the third in my scorecard. He won the first. Well, Michael, Tony Antonio is literally kicking the riding off his shorts. He's using that uh, lead leg so much. The riding's coming straight off those shorts, but uh, I'd have to say on work rate and effectively landing techniques, he'd have to be slightly ahead on the scorecards. The one that just sticks in with the left hand. They're all tied up. They've both expended a lot of energy. Boxer versus kickboxer, or kicker, essentially. Tony Antonio hailing from a Taekwondo background. Calls from Hussein's corner to snap out of it and snap into action. He backs Antonio into the blue corner, connects with a vicious left hand, but Antonio fires out and finishes it off with a high left round kick. That's what the crowd want to see. Well, to date, there's always been a bit of a... Uh... A bit of a wonder, if we pardon the pun, on Tony Antonio as to uh, whether he could take it in a, in a hard fight because he's had fairly uh, fairly easy wins, I'd say. But uh, certainly he's being tested here by Hussein Murad from the Jamal Hassan Academy. But uh, I'd have to say Tony Antonio uh, would, uh, would be uh, answering the critics quite well and showing that, uh, that he's got it. in the spout, calls from Hussein's corner to go ballistic in these dying moments, but a high side kick to the face by Tony Antonio, it's sheer brilliance by the Western Wonder, absolutely sensational, will you look at that, that is sheer brilliance, my word, he brought the house down with that technique, the Western Wonder blood flowing from the nose of Hussein Murad. If you only see one kick in your lifetime, that's the one you want to see. The high side kick from the Western Wonder, Tony Antonio. And that's why they call him Mr. Fabulous. Well, we thought Hussein Murad was right on top of him in the first round. Antonio came back in the second and third, and a spinning hook kick by the Western Wonder. He is on fire here tonight. The crowd have got bananas, a slugathon, a war. It's one of the fights of the year. It's pandemonium. What a standing ovation. My word. Absolute grace in motion, Tony Antonio. Brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. A standing ovation for Mr. Fabulous, the Western Wonder, Tony Antonio.
talk briefly to both young men. And good to see Gunnar. Gunnar in the corner. Gunnar with back in action on the Jamal Flower Mac Show. And four and seven, two weeks ago. This man showed a lot of fortune. Come on, you boys, out a big round of applause. He showed character and courage. Thank you. Lovely. 